All right, in the last um, lesson, we went over how to make how to make this pencil, and I was just going to uh, move a point so it looks like it's all it looks good. I was just fixing that right there. Um, so here's the whole pencil, and you can see a couple things need to happen. This right here, the the pencil, the wood on the pencil, just looks like brown. It needs to have some kind of a wood texture. So we're we're going to zoom in on that. So I'm going to grab the zoom tool. And then I'm going to zoom in on it. And then I'm going to select just that wood. Make sure the, the wood of the pencil is selected. I'm not going to select the lead. And then I'm going to go to effects. Because we're going to add effect. And the effect is going to be a texture. So I'm going to go down here to this texturizer selection. And it automatically has, when I was messing with this, it has the texture that I chose. Um, notice that how it has these different textures that you can add to the wood. And I chose to use this texturizer. And I can you can play with the scaling. Now scaling makes it bigger or smaller, the texture that you're using. And the relief makes it, the more relief you have, the more it feels like it's coming out. Because in if you know anything about sculpture, there's relief. So I'm going to move the, the pencil texture to about right there, because that's that, kind of looks like wood right there. And, um, and then you have some uh, directions that you can have it move. And uh, I, I think it looks better from uh, top, uh, from the top to go top to bottom. So if I click OK, now that pencil looks like it has pencil lead. I'm going Control minus on my keyboard. And as we move away, you go, oh, that, that looks a lot like wood. Now we're going to move down here. And we're going to add those little, uh, the, the rings that go around this right here. And I'm going to do that with just a simple line. I'm, I'm going to use the pen tool to make a line. So I'm going to choose pen tool or hit P on the keyboard. I'm going to click right here. And then I'm going to click right here and then drag. And I'm going to drag straight up and down so that I can make a curve. And I'm going to come down here and have it end. Now... You'll look at that and you'll think, oh, it has that fill. Well, that doesn't look good. So I'm going to click on it with the arrow tool, and I don't want it to have any fill, but I do want it to have a stroke. A stroke is a line, if you'll remember. I'm going to use just a gray stroke right there. Now let's take a look at that. How does that look? I'm going to zoom in so we can look at it a little closer. Uh, I'm not 100% happy with it. If I click on this, on that, you'll see that this line right here it didn't go quite high enough, so I'm going to go all the way up and this one all the way down and then this blends in too much it needs to look like it's standing out a little bit so I'm going to use I'm going to use a uh, the gradient tool to give this a gradient so I don't see the gradient over here so I'm going to go to window and choose gradient control F9 is a keyboard shortcut and then I'm going to click right here I got to make sure I have stroke chosen this does fill and this does stroke I want to make sure I have stroke chosen for it while I'm adding a stroke to this line so I'm going to click on here, and it automatically added a stroke. It's the last stroke that I had on here that I used on this. And but and I'm kind of happy with it. I think it looks all right. So let, let me just look at that. I think that looks all right. I could try to add a shadow to it, but the, I don't like the shadow controls in Illustrator, so I'm not going to do that. Now, I want, I want to select this and then just keep and add this line, have this line show up like several times. So three times up here and then three times down here. But I don't want to have to, every time I do it, be careful not to grab this, the, the uh, metal part here. I just want to be able to grab the line. And so I'm going to lock the layer that has the, the, the casing for it. So I'm going to go right here. Notice that selected one. I, I selected it first. When I select it, that little blue square shows up. Notice when I deselect, that doesn't show up. And now it's selected. I'm going to lock this path by clicking on right here. And now notice, now, now notice when I click on that, I can't do anything. I can't move it or anything because it's locked. So now I can come right here and I can grab this. I'm going to hold down the Alt key. And I'm going to drag over. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to try to make it the same distance. And luckily, um, oh, I didn't quite get it the same distance as the other one. So I'm going to move it a little bit more. That looks all right. And I'm looking at a pencil on my desk. It looks like there are four of those, so I'm going to do it one more time. So I'm going to grab that path, hold down the Alt key, and move it over. If I hold down the Shift key, it moves in a straight line. Now I want to duplicate those right here. So I'm going to select all four of those, hold down the Alt key, 
and drag it over. I'm going to hold the shift key down as I do so. There we go. Now when we zoom away, control minus, 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 we're getting, that looks a lot more realistic, doesn't it? Okay, so we've done two things now. We have added a grain to the uh, to the to that brown so it looks like a pencil lead. It's not perfect, but it gets the idea across. And then we've got, um, we added the metal lines right there to that. It also, if we want to be really detailed, we could add those little holes to it right here. I'm not going to worry about that right now because there's just one other thing I want to do. I want to select the whole pencil. Uh, and in order to do that, I need to unlock that 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 part that I locked before. I'm going to select the whole pencil. And I want to add a drop shadow to it so it looks like it's sitting on a surface. So I'm going to effect, stylize, and drop shadow. And there's going to be a problem that you'll see after we add this drop shadow. Notice that it adds a shadow to every single path. And so it makes this pencil look all weird. Well, I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to go Control Z. There's a way to make it work so that it doesn't um, add it to every single path. So it adds it to the whole pen the pencil as a whole. And the way you do it, you need to make this whole object a group. So I'm going to go Control G. That's the shortcut for making a group. Now when I click on one th any path in this object, it selects the whole thing. Notice that? So now when I go to uh, Window, I'm sorry, Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow, it will add, I'm going to click Preview, it will add a drop shadow. And I can move that drop shadow down. I'm going to make it so it goes a little further underneath the pencil. And now it's giving it a, some real three-dimensionality to it. I'm just going to offset it, the X offset, a little bit more so it kind of moves over. So it looks like the light's coming from the left. Uh, that maybe goes a little too far. And I can uh, I can do the, uh, oh, I can make it blurrier or less blurry. Right there. And a little bit of blur adds some realism to it because there aren't too many shadows that are have no blur to them. Um, and I think we need to do one more thing. I, I need to resize. Oops, I gotta click OK here. I need to resize the um, the uh, the artboard so that shadow can make it all the way into it. And there we go. I've got a pencil with a shadow, with grain, with the lines right here. Uh, I think the eraser still looks a little bit not real, but I'm not going to worry about it. And I think that's enough for now.